We're working through an example involving a profit function, so stick around. I'm Allison from MathBytes, and we're doing an example involving a profit function, so here's our problem. A website has a profit of $72,500 per year with 25,000 subscribers, and a profit of $140,000 per year with 34,000 subscribers. The profit is a linear function of the number of subscribers. Find the profit function. Okay. So let's think about this for a moment here. The profit is a linear function of the number of subscribers. That means it's the equation of a line. So we have some ordered pairs here. We have the ordered pair of the number of subscribers and the profit. And if we fill in what we know from our problem, we have the ordered pairs 25,000 and 72,500 and 34,000 and 140,000. So we're looking for the equation of the line that contains both of these points. So let's find the slope. Our slope M is equal to 140,000 minus 72,500 over 34,000 minus 25,000. That gives us 67,500 over 9,000 or 7.5. So we have a slope of 7.5. Now remember the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. In this case, p equals 7.5s plus b. Now we just plug in either of our points to find what b is. So we have 72,500 is equal to 7.5 times 25,000 plus b. So b is equal to 72,500 minus 7.5 times 25,000 that gives us 72,500 minus 187,500, and that gives us negative 115,000. So now we just plug that back in. So our profit function P of S is equal to 7.5 S minus 115,000. All right, so here's our next question. How many subscribers are necessary in order to break even? All right, so we remember our profit function P of S is equal to 7.5S minus 115,000. And the break-even point is the point at which the profit is equal to zero. So we set P equal to zero and we solve. So we have zero is equal to 7.5S minus 115,000 or 7.5S equals 115,000. And when we do that arithmetic, we get that S is equal to 15,333.333, et cetera. Okay, now we're talking about subscribers, so we're not gonna have a fractional person. So the number of subscribers needed to break even will be 15,334. Remember, profit functions can take lots of different forms, so keep an eye on our Worked Examples playlist to see more examples of profit functions. And to learn more about this and other topics, watch our videos on the Math Bites with Allison YouTube channel.